Yes, political leaders have been charged to act now and save Nigeria from disintegration and insecurity. General Overseer of Ansaruddin Society of Nigeria and Overseas, Sheikh Abdurrahman Ahmed, said this at the 40-day Fidao ceremony of Alhaji Latif Jakonde. Adedoja Salam Adini reports. This is the seventh ceremony in a row to honor the late Latif Kayode Jakonde, who governed Lagos between 1979 and 1983. After his interment on 12th of February, Lagos State Government joined the family for the third and eighth days Fidao, organized day of tributes, mosque service, church service, and this 40th day Fidao is again to pray for the repose of the first civilian governor of Lagos. A whole Quran was read as prayer for the deceased and all that he left behind. In his lecture titled Clarion Call, Sheikh Abdurrahman Ahmad talked tough by charging political office holders to rise up to the challenges facing the country. There is widespread insecurity. We have too much potentials to fail. We are too important to Africa to disintegrate. This is not the time to keep quiet. This is not the time to pretend as if everything is all right. It is not all right. All the bullets, all the armed forces will not solve this problem. Wisdom will do. Deputy Governor of the state also used the occasion to call on all religious leaders to join hands with the government to preach peace to their congregations. We totally agree that we must do everything within our power. But I think it's important to understand that one of the strong pillars that Nigeria rests upon is religion. One of the very strong pillars. And we must not minimize that. The truth today is that people listen to their imams and their pastors than political leaders. That's the truth in our country today. So we should not leave it only for government. Speaking in the same vein, Governor of Sokoto State seeks collaborative efforts to halt insecurity in Nigeria. We pray that God shall assist our leaders at every level for us to overcome all of these challenges that we are facing, be they in security, in economy, and the fight against corruption and all of that. This day, 23rd of March, would have been the 53rd wedding anniversary of the former governor and his wife, Abimbola Jakonde. Adedoja Salama Deniyi, TVC News, Lagos.